Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play I Want to Be the Overlord. Uh, change of plans. We're actually not going to be... Oh, wait, hold on. Do this real quick. We are not going to be going after vines right now. Actually, I found another secret area. Yeah, um... If my assumptions are correct, I believe there should be... Oh... Darn. Um, I believe there should be eight secret areas in this game. Because that portrait in the uh, in the Twilight Hub, um, you know, there, there's like nine squares to fill in on it. But the first one is filled from the get-go. So that means eight of the areas in this game. There's, yeah, yeah, eight of the areas in this game must have secret areas. And this is the third one that we're going to be entering. Okay. Is this Mega Man? Yeah, I'm honestly not sure if this is Mega Man or not. I think it's Mega Man, though. I think I've said it before, but yeah, I'm not entirely familiar with all of the 8-bit Mega Man games. Far more familiar with the X series and Zero and Legends and basically everything after the original. Although I have been playing the Mega Man Legacy Collection on Steam. I've beaten Mega Man 1 and 2, currently working on 3. They're good games. I still like X a whole lot better, but honestly, the original series isn't bad. Yeah, I'm not really as familiar with the stages and stuff from them as a lot of people would be. I wonder how long it's going to take before I die to that uh, jump right over there. Oh, hey, maybe I won't. Okay, what are these going to do? Oh... You know, I was thinking they would shoot lasers down at me. I was about to, like, dodge out of the way of a laser. I wasn't expecting them to do that. By the way, this game seems to have ten areas in total, by the way. Granted, I counted that yesterday, so I'm actually not sure. I mean, I, I might be wrong. It was either 9 or 10. I know this because of how many teleport rooms there are in the Twilight Hub. I counted all of them. Okay, there we go. Well, that's a bit of a narrow jump right there. I had to put one right there, didn't you? Ah. There we go, that's how you do it. Is this just me or does this area feel a little bit longer than the other secret areas? Well, what? Um...
Okay, that was a good troll death. <laughs> I liked that one. I gotta work out the proper timing for get, getting through there. Oh, hey, that works. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go up here this time. Jump over that. Ah. Ah, that is hard. Well, that bullet got me for once. Okay. Of course, I get through that in my first try, and then I die to that, and now I'm probably going to take forever getting past this now. Or maybe not. Darn bullet. Oh, that's nasty. Ah. Where is the end? Right over there. Oh! I wasn't thinking! Well, it's true, it's clear that the real I want to be the guy challenge uh, lies in these secret areas. You know, in the back of my mind, I feel like I know what game this is This is from. But I can't remember what it's called. I mean, I know it's on the NES. Okay. Darn it! That stupid thing going up and down makes me panic! You know, I wonder if it's possible to, like, walk through the, uh, pipes or whatever, holding those things up. Probably not. I probably need to wait for it to go up and then slip under it. Yes! Sweet! Okay! Awesome. Well, that's another secret area down. Alright, let us see what lies beyond this vine wall here. I also need to check what's down there. You know, maybe I should have gone to that one down there first, because... Oh. Oh, well, okay then. That was anticlimactic. Actually, I wonder... Any secrets? No? Alright. Well, I guess we're heading down for the middle of the area, then. Okay, let's see what we can do down here now. Oh, 
What the heck is this? Oh, I get it. I have to step on all the blocks and turn them all red, don't I? Oh, and if you touch the golden little skull blocks, you die. Gotta say, I should have expected that. And I figured touching those would kill you too. What the heck? How did that happen? Yeah, I think I know how to do this. <laughs> it would stop screwing up on me here. You know, I was thinking maybe they they turn red if you just so much as pass over them without even touching them, but apparently not. That was actually my fault. That was not the game screwing up. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, then. So I got an egg. Phoenix egg. Well, I can't say I have any idea what that could be for. Also, it does not appear to be a key item either. Huh. Strange. Well, I guess that's everything we can do here for now. I may as well head back to, uh... Yeah, back to the Argos Shrine. Alright, let us finally explore and find whatever awaits us beyond this point. I know I'm not technically to new territory just yet, but... I just went past what I was supposed to go to, because that vine wall was up here. Oh, huh, I wonder if that's where I put the phoenix egg. Oh, come on, seriously? <sighs> Whatever. So in the end, that was completely fruitless. All right. Unless, is there a button in this game that lets you use key items? Because I'm so confused. I'm pressing up, I'm pressing down, I'm pressing Z, X, Shift, Control. And I restarted my recording by mistake there. I accidentally hit one of the hotkeys, but, um... Yeah, I... I don't know. I'm confused. No, there does not appear to be any, um... Yeah. Doesn't seem to be a... option to use key items. I wonder, do I have to actually use them from the inventory? I don't know. I mean, one's like the feather here and the 
you know, the key and the ocarina, I mean, those can be used by just pressing buttons at certain locations, but... Well, the ocarina anywhere, but you guys know what I mean. No, I cannot use the magic torch to light that. Well, okay. Well, this kind of blows, because I am completely and totally stuck now. I have absolutely no idea where I could possibly go, or what I could do right now. Well, outside of going to the training grounds or whatever, but I don't know. I feel like that might be an optional thing. I mean, I'll still do it, but, you know. Whatever. I might as well get, get, go get those souls and see what I can do with this place. Okay, let's see what this place is all about. I got your souls. <laughs> My question is if that's a permanent item or if it's a one-time use. Oh, it's not a key item. Hey Mario, what are you doing here? Oh. Well, we haven't uh, won anything, so... I guess you can play mini games here. Ah, uh, really? That's annoying. for the advice. You better be. It might just be the game's ultimate dungeon or area. Gotta be kidding me. No, but I do have a Phoenix egg. Yes, I... Wait, do I have to give the phoenix egg to her? Oh, that's what she's talking about, okay. Oh. Uh huh, okay then. Well. I guess I won't have to worry about getting a whole bunch of souls to play the games here. 
Oh. We found her, though. Okay. Can we go into the water? Hi there, fishy. Okay, I guess we need to be able to breathe underwater before we can do anything there. Okay, she doesn't say anything else then. Well, let's go try out these mini games then. Yeah, this is exactly what I... As soon as I saw that the points were measured in feet or whatever, I figured this is exactly what it would be. Ah, oh, I wasn't sure when that was going to turn back. Well, we got pretty far on our first try. Yeah... You win nothing. Go see Mario to cl claim your prize of nothing. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, shoot. Wait, I'm starting to think that's random each time. That's different. Oh, shoot. Uh, alright, well, let's go see what our prize is. Probably souls. Don't want, don't know what else they'd gift you here. I figured. Oh, we can get more. Oh. Well, okay, this would be a great place to grind up souls. I guess that's the true value of the VIP pass, because with that, you can literally just play these all you want and, like, get as many souls as you want, as long as you have, like, the skill for it. Unless you can only win, uh, each prize one time. This is like this again? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go up this way this time. Oh, you freaking kidding me? Oh. Okay, you know what? I wanna win first prize. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. I wish there was a way to just in immediately retry these mini games without having to talk to this guy again every single time. Ha! <laughs> predicted at that time. Yeah, maybe I should just go this way. Seems like a safer bet. Oh, what the heck? It's doing nothing this time? Okay. Is this just getting glitchier and glitchier every time I, like, die at it or something? Oh! 
Yeah, I was wondering how high up that would actually go. I guess 1600 is the maximum. Hmm. I, I was thinking maybe, um... If you got beyond, like, 1,600 feet and went, like, all the way to the end, you'd get something special. But I guess it just ends right at 1,600. What? No, I won first prize! I mean, I know I won first, like, third prize before, but... Please tell me I could still get my prize. Oh, okay, oh, so you get a reward for every single time you clear it. Okay, well, that's actually really cool. Wow, you're gonna get so many levels out of this place. Is that third prize again? Oh. Okay, that's the first prize. Mario's little friend. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. I'm guessing I don't have any more prizes. Okay. Well, let's try target practice now. Definitely not doing this in record time. Well, I guess I didn't do too bad, though. Actually, I almost got first place. Let's try that again. Aw, oh, man, I've messed it up. Why is that book there? Yeah, I didn't even care that this time. Gotta be real fast! <laughs> well, at least we got second prize again. Oh man, come on! Ah, oh, shoot! Could have been it, maybe, if I hadn't messed those jumps up. Okay, I have no excuse losing this time. Sweet! Well, time to claim all our rewards. First prize! Hey, what's that? Speed ring! Oh! I know exactly where I want to use that. Great! It's like, a uh, regular I want to be the guy shooting now. Well, I guess that's everything we can do here in this place. Let's go check out that, well, what, what's, uh, beyond that dragon head in, uh, Flama Caverns.